Security camera selfie. That's a keeper. Welcome back guys to another edition of Looted. Today we're going to be trying to improve the security of this apartment because things have been going missing and I'm not sure why. But hopefully we're going to solve that with the help of the Rio Link Argus 2 security camera. Now this is an absolute first for me. I've never had a security camera before. But I thought maybe as we've got this new place I should probably attempt to up the security just a little bit. I don't know how much it's really going to help improve anything. But you know what? I'm always up for trying new tech so let's get on with it. Now this package even comes with a solar panel so this is going to be a completely wireless unit there's going to be no cables connected to a capture card there's no cables going to be connected to their mains it's all entirely wireless and I'm quite excited by that to view the footage all you're going to need is the app which you can download on the App Store or Google Play and other features include starlight night vision 1080p full HD IP65 waterproof and smart PIR sensor. Not sure what that is, but I'm sure it's great if it's listed on the packaging. Why would you mention something bad on the packaging? That just never happens. Be prepared, be Rio Link. That's, that's not wordplay. That's just silly. I feel like these things are more of a deterrent than the cameras themselves. As soon as someone sees this, they're like, no, no, not dealing with that. Not messing. Now, before we get to the camera, let's check out these little bits here. So I think this is the waterproof casing for the camera. Wall mount, I believe. A micro USB cable. A key ring. Actually, I think that's more of a phone strap. Either way. Also, we've got a strap again. Not sure what that's for. The camera battery and then the camera itself. That is a dainty looking camera. Look at that. It's really cute. Then in the bottom of the box, we've got the solar panel. Yep. That's definitely a solar panel. Nothing to really shout about. It's not got a really interesting design or anything. And then you've got the mount for the solar panel as well. So both the security camera and the solar panel can be mounted individually on a wall. Ooh, yeah, there you go. Everyone loves a good film peel, don't they? Camera has been started up. Please run real link app, add the camera and set it up. It's actually got quite a nice voice. It's quite welcoming. Add the camera and all right, you said it three times now. At first, it was charming. Now, it's getting a bit demanding. Please run real link app. Add the camera and set it up. It's installing. What more do you want? So if we just scan the barcode, that was bloody quick. Next thing to do is take the QR code, which is generated on the phone, and then get the security camera to scan that. Scan succeeded. Ben, what do we name the camera? Sounds like a Karen. Camera Karen. Do we call it Camera Karen or just Karen? Just Karen. And we are connected. So if you look right there, you see a live feed of what Karen can see. Ben, stop flipping off Karen. So you can also full screen the footage on your phone and from there you can hit this button to take screen caps, hit the film button, film to your heart content, straight onto your phone. Now in the playback mode just here, which only works when you've got a micro SD card in the camera itself, you can go ahead and cycle through any clips which had any movement. Now we've got quite a few because we've been moving around this camera like a madman, but if we just click on one just here, it will then boot up that clip and highlight any movement and you can swipe through and preview different bits of the clip and if you want to you can download a clip straight to your phone. You can also minimize the app so you can have a little window here showing the security camera footage all while scrolling through the looted Instagram. Hint hint follow us on Instagram. So if you ever need to charge this camera you've got a micro USB port on the back just there so you can either take the battery out and charge it individually if you've got this camera wall mounted already or you can just take the camera plug it into the wall. Luckily for us, we don't need to worry about charging because we've got a solar panel. Now, if you want to use the solar panel, it is as simple as plugging it into the back of the camera with a micro USB, and that's it. I wonder if this solar panel could charge my phone. It's not working. Uh, though it, it is like, I'm not wearing a watch. Six in the evening, so it's already kind of dark. Okay, bad time of day to test that. I said I would never do this again. But here we are. Oh, there's nowhere. No, can't reach it. Ben. Ooh, yes. That is working all right. I can't see anything. That's exactly what we're going for. The perfect conditions for crime. As soon as the lights go out, it instantly kicks in the infrared mode and it looks pretty darn good. I can actually see Ben in quite a lot of detail through the camera. I can barely see him with my own eyes. Oh, I can film my own budget horror film with this thing. I'm practicing my concerned stuck in the woods look. Security camera selfie. 
That's a keeper. Now, the one major problem that I have with this security camera is the fact that I have personally nowhere to wall mount it because this is a rented property and I can't go ahead and just drill holes into walls willy nilly or else I'm going to get into a bit of trouble. Luckily, the guys at Reolink have actually thought about that and that's why they've included this strap. Now, at first, I had no idea what this was, but I checked the guide, which is something I never do. So be proud of me, it's finally happened. This strap here is designed to wrap around trees, but you can also wrap it around poles, you can wrap it around pipes. Basically, it just gives you options to mount it elsewhere so you don't need to put holes in walls. Now, there are a couple of other features on this app, one of which is an alarm. So if you see anything dodgy going on on the camera, you can just trigger the sound alarm. Though it's, it's not very loud. I think it's enough to give someone a fright. I don't think it's gonna be scaring off any Mormons anytime soon, that's all I can say. And then you can also activate the microphone which is on the camera so you can hear what's going on. Oh, I've just noticed at the bottom here, there's a talk button. What will that do? Will you step away from the building? Will you step away? Oh, oh, it's stuck in a loop. Hey you, step away from my property. I can't be having you Mormons religiousing up the place. I'm here to steal something. I mean, I don't feel very alarmed when you just burp through the mic. <laughs> all in all, the Real Link Argus 2 is just so damn convenient. The fact that you don't even need to wire this thing up to wall mount it, the fact that you don't even need to connect it to a capture device, everything about it is just made for convenience. The fact that they've included ways to not even have to charge the battery, they've even thought of alternative ways to wall mount this thing. Everything about it. It's just so convenient. Now the Rio Link app isn't the perfect app. There are a few things that they could add to make it better. There are a few things they could tweak to make some features just a little bit better, but all in all, everything on there works pretty well. The fact that you can play back clips and also view the live footage through the camera itself is great if you're a person who's always out and about, if you're traveling a lot, if you're in the office a lot, you can always just open the app. If you're connected to Wi-Fi, you can just check what's going on with your property. And you can also get alerts onto your phone if it detects motion so you can instantly see if there's a new clip to check out. Like if your neighbor's stealing your mail or the local cat is pooping on your balcony. And for me personally, I'm hoping that I can use this to finally catch whoever's been stealing stuff out of my refrigerator. That guy's been getting away with this for too long and it's about time that we bring him to justice. Shout out to Keegan McAdams and Natasha Savage on Patreon. And if you like this video, hit like. If you like all our videos, hit subscribe. We've got more videos on the way. You can also follow us on our social pages. If you want to support the channel further, check out the link in the description to our Patreon page. And you can also chat with us on our Discord channel. We'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one. Huh. These outros are so tiring. I feel like my lungs are about to explode sometimes. I feel like your lungs are about to explode. You get that vibe? I'm glad it's not just me. Maybe I should see a doctor.